Prairie, Iowa is about to change drastically and not for the better. This week, Tyson Foods announced that it will be permanently closing its pork factory in Perry, killing around 1,200 jobs in a town of just 8,000 people. So as Perry residents struggle to cope with mass layoffs, Tyson Foods has its eyes on a different class of workers. The company is now offering new jobs to asylum seekers in other states like New York. Bloomberg says Tyson's tracking migrants in a massive database. They scroll through the data like Facebook. You see a worker you like, tap hire. They even had a job fair. So you were at a Tyson fair in New York City not so long ago where Tyson was basically making this pitch. What did you observe when you went there? They created a database uh, for these new asylum seekers in New York City. So these people would come in, they'd learn a little bit about the company, and for the most part, Tyson had already gone through their various details of their application. And so many of them, uh, 17 the day I was there, and then uh, another 70 a couple weeks later, uh, went off to Tennessee to go start their uh, new jobs as uh, Tyson production uh, workers. Oh, and the jobs come with perks, not just health insurance. Tyson's also offering lawyers to its illegal alien workers and time off to attend immigration hearings in 2034, of course. They're firing Americans and offering perks to illegals. This was the Democrat plan all along. Well, first of all, let's just say we are a nation of immigrants. 460,000 open jobs today. Wow. I have 5,000 farm jobs that I need filled so we can plant the crops. Vegetables would rot in the ground if, it weren't, if they weren't being picked by many Immigrants, many illegal immigrants. You see even in Florida, some of the farmers and the growers saying, why are you shipping these uh, immigrants uh, up north? We need them to pick the crops. We reached out to Tyson for comment, and they said they have a very diverse set of employees, and they're proud of it. Ohio senator and author of Hillbilly Elegy, J.D. Vance, joins us now. I didn't think it was legal, Senator to ax American workers and hire en masse illegal aliens. Well, it shouldn't be, Jesse, and we're certainly going to look into whether we can change that, assuming Tyson is operating legally, which we don't even know if they are. We don't know the details of this. All we know, Jesse, is that they are firing American workers and hiring illegal aliens to replace them. This is the entire point of illegal immigration, and Republicans, we've got to hammer this point home. It reduces the wages of American workers by replacing American citizens with foreign laborers who are willing to work at slave wages. It has been the plan, as you said, from the beginning. And what this means is the eradication of the American dream. Every time an American is replaced with an illegal immigrant, it means that an American family loses a good family supporting wage. It means that American companies are re literally replacing our own citizens with people who will work for slave wages. That That is not capitalism or a market economy, Jesse. That is the decimation of the American middle class via illegal immigration. And it's happening all over the country. And this poor town's going to get slaughtered. All of those people laid off in such a small town, it's just going to be have a, such a tremendous impact. Are they getting around it legally by saying we're not hiring illegal aliens, we're hiring asylum seekers? Is that how they do it? Well, that's one of the ways that they do it, Jesse, and we know that the, the Biden administration has made it easier to basically pretend that economic migrants are asylum seekers. It's one of the reasons why we have to change our asylum laws in this nation. But, Je Jesse, think about how much of a contrast this presents between the Trump economy and the Biden economy. If you go back to the Trump economy, you had American jobs going to American workers. You had wages rising. Under the Biden economy, you have those American workers getting fired and replaced with foreign labor. This is not an exaggeration. All net job creation, Jesse, you heard me right, 100% of net job creation under the Biden administration has gone to the foreign born. So we are taking an economy that produced prosperity for American citizens and turning it into an economy that produces prosperity for people who probably shouldn't be here in the first place. And I, I bet you know what Tyson isn't doing, Jesse. I bet they're not drug testing the illegal immigrants who are coming in. I bet they're not asking whether they're bringing fentanyl or drugs into that small town with them. This is the 
end of the American dream if we let this stuff happen. We've got to reelect Donald Trump, and we've got to get congressional Republicans with some spine to push back against this stuff. Here, here. Thanks for speaking out about this, and thanks for all your work with East Palestine. We really appreciate it.